Welcome to Evening Prayer. My name is Kaz and I'm leading this week's service. Even in our isolation, we can meet together to pray, to be silent and to create space to rest in God's presence. If you have the service leaflet printed out, please join in with the sections printed in bold. If not, don't worry. Um, I'll lead us through and I'll, I'll let you know where there are responses to join in with. There'd be space within the words to think and to reflect and to listen to God and to listen to your hearts and to listen to yourself. So we'll go through quite slowly and with lots of space. Um, don't worry about that space. I'll lead us. I'll lead us through. Some words of welcome. Blessed are you, creator of all things. The heavens adore you. Let the whole earth worship you. Let all peoples proclaim you. Let all nations obey you. Let us serve you in love and in peace. And let's start and let's prepare ourselves with some words inviting God to join us. After each couple of lines, the response is, come Lord and rule. That's come Lord and rule. Come into our hearts and fill them with love. Together, come Lord and rule. Come into our minds and fill them with peace. Together, come Lord and rule. Come into our lives and fill them with light. Come, Lord, and rule. Come into our days and fill them with glory. Come, Lord, and rule. I'm going to read some abridged words from St. Francis of Assisi. Listen to these words and think about um, the different aspects of the character of God. You are holy, Lord, the only God, and your deeds are wonderful. You are love. You are wisdom. You are humility. You are endurance. You are rest. You are peace. You are joy and gladness. You are all our riches and you suffice for us. You are beauty. You are gentleness. You are our protector. You are our guardian and defender. You are courage. You are our haven and hope. You are our faith, our great consolation. You are our eternal life, great and wonderful Lord, God Almighty, merciful Saviour.
Let's spend a few moments just thinking and reflecting on perhaps some of those words that, that spoke particularly to you that jumped out. I'm going to read now from the Bible, from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 19. Oh God, as these words are read, in our hearts may we feel your presence. This is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 19. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. This meditation is written by Jan Richardson and is called Hope, and it's based on that reading. So we may know the hope that is not just for some day, but for this day, here, now, in this moment that opens to us. Hope not made of wishes, but of substance. Hope made of sinew and muscle and bone. Hope that has breath and a beating heart. Hope that will not keep quiet and be polite. Hope that knows how to holler when it is called for. Hope that knows how to sing when there seems little cause. Hope that raises us from the dead. Not some day, but this day, every day, again and again and again. Amen. We're going to listen to a song now, which will be followed by two minutes of silence. Please use this time to reflect on the words that we've used or to bring what's on your heart to God. So we'll have a couple of minutes of silence and then we'll have the song again and then we'll come back to pray for ourselves and for the world and for people we're concerned about.
So we're going to pray now for, for our world and for others. After each section, I'll read out I'll read out a few sections of, of, of groups of people to pray for. After each one, we'll have a, a few moments of silence for us to then pray for people who come to mind or for those, those situations. And then 
If you'd like to make that prayer your own, let's join in with the response. Hear us, good Lord. That's hear us, good Lord. Let's pray. We bring to God someone whom we have met or remembered today and for whom we want to pray. Together, hear us, good Lord. We bring to God someone who is hurting tonight and needs our prayer. Together we say, hear us, good Lord. We bring to God a troubled situation in our world tonight. Together, hear us, good Lord. <clears throat> we bring to God someone whom we find hard to forgive or to trust. Hear us, good Lord. We bring ourselves to God, that we might grow in the knowledge of the hope to which he has called us. Hear us, good Lord. Let's conclude our, conclude our prayers by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And let's finish with one of my favourite blessings. This night and every night, grant to us light. This night and every night, grant to us peace. This night and every night, grant to us rest. This night and every night, grant to us grace. This night and every night, grant to us joy. Amen. Thank you for joining us at Evening Prayer this evening. May God be with us and with those we love. Amen. <laughs>